Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks. And in this episode, we're going to continue looking at payment gateways. And today we're going to look at setting up our PayPal integration. So let's just click on add new payment gateway. And we're going to click on PayPal V2. Now there was a PayPal V1. And I will uh, go through that in a later video and show you how to set up PayPal V1. And the reason why you want to do that is because, especially if you're on the $95 plan, you're only going to be able to get one payment gateway. But by using the V1, you can essentially create a second way of accepting payments inside of ClickFunnels. So you could set up one of your payment gateways as being Stripe, let's say, and then the other one you could use as PayPal version one and be able to accept payments in two different ways. So you see here, we are asked immediately for our client and our client secret. So we're going to go into your PayPal account. Now you're going to need a business PayPal account in order to do this. But just if you've got a personal account, just log into your personal account, Google it, look around a little bit, find out how to set up a business account. It's not that terribly difficult. And once you get it set up, just come up to the top where it says tools, come down to the bottom, all tools. And we're going to scroll down to the bottom where it says developer site. We're going to click on that. And then over on the right hand side will be your name and you just want to click on dashboard. You'll be dumped into the my apps and credentials. So let's just scroll down. We're looking for our rest API apps. We're going to click on create. We're going to put in the name of our app and we're going to hit enter or click on create app. Here we're going to see that we're in sandbox mode. And you're going to have your client ID, and if you click on that, you're going to have your secret as well. And you can also click on live, and you can see, if you watch here, these numbers here and here. So your client ID and your secret will change when I click on live. Now to get started for testing purposes, you probably want to leave it on Sandbox so you can get this set up, you can play around with it, run through a bunch of tests, and then make sure everything is working okay. And then once you're ready to go, then you can click it on to live. So let's start off with our Sandbox client ID. We'll just click on it, we'll highlight it, copy it, and put it into ClickFunnels. We will do the same thing for the secret. And then because we want to run in sandbox mode, if we uncheck this, it'll leave us into sandbox mode and we will click on create PayPal V2 account. And now our account is set up. Next thing we'll need to do is to go in and create a product using that PayPal account. I'm in the newer version of the product creation and let me show you how you get there. If you uh, come to your account details, come down, click on available beta features, and you can turn it on right here if it's not live in your account already. So we'll go back in, we're gonna click on add product, You're going to click on PayPal, it will highlight it, and then we'll click next. And we will type in a product name and we will just call this our PayPal product. And we'll put in a price of $7.95. Now there will be more training later on on how to set up products and order forms and all that. So I'm just going to run through this pretty quickly. We're going to put our price override as free plus shipping. So they'll be charged $7.95, but it'll show free plus shipping on the screen. And then of course you have to have some sort of disclaimer saying that they're getting the book for free, but it's $7.95 for the shipping. And that's all we have to do on this for now. So we will click save and close. And this is what it'll look like once it's done. So now let's go in and work on our order form. And here I have an order form set up like you would normally set up an order form. The top part here is where you can select which product you want to buy. You have your credit card area. You have the results of what it was you clicked on up here and order bump. Then I have this line of text here. It says to pay with your credit card, click the PayPal button below and enter your credit card information. Because instead of this button being here, there will be two PayPal buttons below this. And so I set this up purposely wrong, how you would not normally set this up for your PayPal. Because as we had here before, I have one product with Stripe and I have one product with PayPal. You could have 10 products with Stripe, but if you put in one PayPal product, that will override everything else and it will put the PayPal button at the bottom of the page. It will also make the credit card area disappear 
and it can cause some other interesting problems as well, which I will show you some of those. So if you're setting up a an order form with a PayPal product in it, you don't want to have any other payment processors in this form because it will cause some funky stuff that we'll see in a minute. Before we do any testing, we want to go to our settings page and I have a tab open here. So you go to settings for your funnel. You want to scroll down and where it says test mode, you want to click that to on, go down to the bottom and save and update settings. It won't work if we don't put this into test mode. So we have our form here, and now normally what you would do to get this to work, you're just going to click on preview. But again, I'm going to show you how not to do it first. So the form came up, and you saw there the credit card was there just for a second. Now my computer's running slow because it always does when I'm recording. So yours won't show there for more than a split second and then disappear. So when you're building your form and you're using the PayPal integration, don't put in the credit card because there's no reason to have it and, it, and it won't end up showing on the screen anyway. So the credit card goes away, and we can choose our either our Stripe product or our PayPal product, and you'll see it changes down here as we as we click on this, and then we can click on PayPal. And what's gonna happen is it's just gonna sit here and spin and spin and spin because we didn't open it up properly in order to test it. So you could even go in here and click on incognito window and it still isn't going to work properly. Again, you see the credit card shows up at first, the other button shows up at first, and then it kicks everything out. But again, yours will only show up for really a millisecond. How to properly go in and test this is we want to go back into the funnel step itself and this little box over here, we want to right click and click open link in incognito window. So we will click on PayPal and now after a few seconds the page will show up properly. So you can put in your PayPal email right here and click next. It'll take you into PayPal and then you can purchase there or you can click on pay with debit or credit card at the bottom. So we'll come back to that in a second, but now let's look at what do we have if we have PayPal credit. Now you see up here, Stripe says 997. So we're gonna click on PayPal credit and it shows $12. Now I think that's because it's not populating properly. It could have something to do with the fact that we're in the sandbox mode, I'm not really sure. I think it has to do that it's Stripe and it's not going to show up properly. So again, when you're creating your products, if you're using the PayPal checkout, you want to make sure all of your products are for PayPal, not for Stripe or any other payment processor. So you can obviously here log in or you can create an account if you're going to use PayPal credit. So now let's test our integration. We will click on PayPal. And we could just log in and just do it like you normally would, but I think everyone's seen how that works in the past. But what we can do is also pay with a debit or credit card. And so in order to test somebody checking out with a credit card, we can go back into PayPal and you come down under mock and you click on credit card generator. You could pick the type of credit card you want and then you click on generate credit card and we can copy out all this information. We wanna copy this out and put it into a notepad, text file, something like that. And the reason why is I found that if you try to go back and forth between the incognito window and the window where you may have open the PayPal developer, it will kick you out of the PayPal sign up box every single time as it did just right now. So let's reload that page again. We will click on PayPal product because we don't want the Stripe product because we already saw that that doesn't work right. So we want the PayPal product and we want to click on PayPal. Now pay with our debit or credit card. And now let's open up our information. Let's grab our credit card number, put that in, put in our expiration date. Okay, the credit card number didn't go in. Let's try that again. and our code, type in your name, billing address, ship to, then down here it asks you if you want to create a PayPal account or not, and then you click on pay now. 
So that should be it for somebody who wants to purchase through a credit card link. Now let's just back out of this here for a minute and go back into what we have inside of our funnel itself. And I showed you a whole bunch of ways to mess this up. So let's just go back through it one more time and do it without creating errors along the way. So first thing I would do if I'm using the PayPal integration, I would just get rid of the credit card box so it doesn't pop up at all. So we'll lose that completely. So now let's go back into our products. Let's delete out that product for Stripe and let's create a new PayPal product. Click on PayPal, save and next. Put in a new product name. Let's just call this product two. We will charge, oh, let's just make it $50 for this one in the price override. Let's just put in one time payment of $50 and click on save and close. Now let's click on settings and make sure we still have our test mode turned on. And yes, it is still turned on. So let's go back to our funnel. We have everything set up like we want. Let's click on save and then let's exit out of the funnel itself. So now let's go back to our funnel step and we will right click on our link and we will open that incognito. And you'll see now we don't have the credit card information popping in, but we do have our two PayPal products and we can switch back and forth and it will show us which one we have down here. You probably won't even need this section right now here. You could probably just use this one at the top. But for right now, let's go into the PayPal credit. I wanna see how that number in the right hand corner changed based upon not having that Stripe product in there anymore. So that one is showing a 795, which is what we had clicked. Now let's try product two. Let's see how that populates. Okay, so that worked as well. So again, that shows you don't wanna have Stripe or any other payment processor in with your PayPal products in the same funnel or in the same funnel step to be accurate. So now let's click on here. We can log into our PayPal account right here and pay, or we can pay with our debit or credit card. And there we go, and the $50 populated properly up here. So that is it for right now. Hopefully this helped you with being able to set up your version to PayPal. And if you have any further questions, please reach out to ClickFunnels Support. Thank you.